Yeah, guys. So we're back live from Bravery Studios. We have tomorrow never promise in the building. What up? Uh, How you guys good. feeling? I'm all right, man. Shout out, Moff. Yeah, shout out you guys, bro. I, I run into QXTs and um, I turn the corner and they're right there rolling up. <laughs> and I'm like, of course, of course, I would run yeah. into you guys here. Sometimes we pop out, we pop out the shadows. You guys are like Pokemon cards. <laughs> you don't know what you're gonna get when you open the uh, the tin or what, what is it called? The uh, yes, aluminum. This Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys the tin. That's you guys. But you guys became a quartet as you uh, in our absence, right? Yeah, man. As a new drummer. Yeah, we uh, honestly uh, last time like we was at QXTs, it was just you know me, Ryan Lane, and Mirko. Mirko, yeah. And then uh, t- from that time, we uh, had a sh- festival show in Virginia. And we need we had Kilgrave join us around that time, which is our bassist now. Yeah. Kilgrave. Fuck yeah, he looks mask. dope too with the mask and yeah, everything. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah, he got this whole thing going on. It's sick. Yeah, man. Is it, is it Slipknot inspired or that's just his thing? I don't even know. What, Fuck I'm, ahead. I mean, he he's been doing like cosplay for a while. Like like he used to go to Comic Con. They used to ask him to go to Comic Con and stuff like yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? Like he like ha- made like power ranger videos on youtube and they're like legit you know like he has like mad cosplay stuff at his yeah. house so he's oh, always he's like been into that kind of stuff yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. so he's like, always been into that kind of stuff but like now like i feel like that's his character so it's like he don't gotta cosplay nobody else like now nah, yeah he's cosplaying he's like now nah, nah, like, he made his own there, character there's like uh <laughs> his like a name like his jared and yeah. then there's Kilgrave. It's like two different, like uh, like once he's on stage and then like you know like in the band, like he's Kilgrave. Like guys. is it like method acting? Like Do you guys get annoyed sometimes? Like nah, yo, I'm talking comes, to Jared, bro. Like, no, Jared's it comes not out here. Naturally, it's just yeah, it's just him, bro. He's just sometimes like, you can't even tell. <laughs> <laughs> he's like Heath Ledger and the Joker. Like bro, you're taking this too far. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, but that's what's up, man. How's Merkel doing, bro? Oh, he's good, man. He's good. He's he actually he's he's actually working. So he's yeah, good. yeah. Last time you were here, you guys said Marco was was the worst one in the studio. <laughs> yeah, he's that's still, still that's still like still, that. Still, it's still going. Yeah, man. Yeah. So just still on that streak. <laughs> for who hasn't watched the last episode? So they were here. They were on the Mina Mendoza show. Um, of course, we got Ryan and AJ here. Um, Marco was on the Mina episode. Yeah, shout out. Me. And who are the other two that's missing? Uh, uh, there's Pete. Pete's the drummer, the new drummer. Yeah, yeah that's shout out to Pete. Pete. What is it, Pistol Pete? Pistol Pete. All right, I ain't messing Pistol with Pistol Pete Power. over here. Yeah, then, uh, <laughs> what's the name that you got to watch out for? Watch out for, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Pistol Pete. Nah, yeah, man. Nah, when he comes to the shows, you feel that energy. So you'd be like, ah, right, now I know why they call him Pistol Power. Yeah, man. yeah. You got to watch out with Pistol Pete. Yeah, yeah. And man. then you have Jared slash Kilgrave. Yeah, so really, you got six members on the team. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Five. Man. Five, Six yeah. with the multiple personalities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, maybe more. I don't even know what you guys are like outside of interviews and Word. stage performances. There'd be a diva in the group we don't even know about. Like I said, no, I said no whipped cream on this coffee. He knows, sauce of it. He knows too much. I yeah. said red. This is medium. <laughs> So yeah, man, I actually did do the cheat sheet and I rewatched the whole Mina episode this morning mm-hmm. just to avoid repeating like the same questions and everything like that, bro. Oh, but 100%. but yo, I haven't been to Brooklyn in years, bro. What is it like being a rock band in Brooklyn in 2022? Because last I was there, the 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 hip hop vibes that I got, or at least to the part I was in, that was a, a dominated like predominantly hip hop cultured area. Mm-hmm. I know gentrification happened over the last couple of years. It it's like a whole different yeah. vibe there now. Yeah, no, it's definitely love, but I feel like uh like we just did a show called Summer Never Dies. Okay. And uh it was with uh Jared Kilgrave. Like we all set this whole thing up and we actually had it with two different stages where it was hip hop and rock, you know, and then we had everybody we know come through along with everybody locally that just loves that vibe and they had we we kind of gave them the option to enjoy both ends of hip hop copy and copy rock you know so we do know that it's both like it's like it's definitely dominant hip hop you know but yeah there's still love for that you know real rock shit the scene so. is definitely there the scene is definitely yeah. there you know what I'm saying like if you can put on a good show you slowly put on you slowly start to get more people you know I would imagine yeah attract, you know it's like whatever you do with it but there is there is still a scene there you know what I'm saying that like people pop out you know like we play with this band. Lur, you know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out to Lur, man. They're a good band. Uh, and uh, shout out, Lord. They got people coming out. Like, we see, like, like I didn't even know, like, this, like, because we only started this band, like, a little over a year ago. So it's been a year and um, some change now. You guys, I just started when we saw you at Q's, like, uh, yeah, yes. a couple months ago. Yeah, it was like, yeah, what, so five, five, five or six? It was like February or March, maybe. Yeah. I think March. Mm-hmm. But yeah, man, you guys, you guys are doing your thing and been consistent with it. Yeah. I followed your IG, I, I have your YouTube channel, I seen the videos dropping. 
Oh, I seen the yeah, couch pillows dropping. You our guys video, are just knocking everything down, bro. Yeah, our video crazy. never, working, our video, <laughs> our video never leave again. Just hit 4K organically. Hey. Like organically. Just grows yeah. every day too. I so. think the look. Mina episode too. I think that's one of her most watched episodes. So you guys have a following, bro. Like you ever go back and check it? Like I, I think it, that's oh, one day. of her most. <laughs> no wonder <laughs> it's going up. <laughs> I check the stuff every day, man. Every no wonder day. it's going up. <laughs> nah, for, for, for us it's just like you know, like it, it, it's always been love, you know. So we just go in, uh, we you know we play, we have fun, and just try to move forward like that, man. Like and Mina showed us love. Uh, a lot of people that we know like tuned into that shit. Like a lot of people. Hit me up like, yo, I seen you interview with me, man. That's what's up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really like working on something special, you know? That's what's so up. It's cool, man. I still remember the first time I saw you guys at Q's blow, I was blown, blown away. I had never, that energy you guys had on that stage was crazy for a band that had just started, especially. I don't know. Like hearing the, hearing the, uh, the, uh, the uh, songs on YouTube is one thing, but then hearing you guys live, I just like, this is bonkers hearing this right now. Yeah, no, we get that a lot. Like, bro, your your live lot. sessions are crazy. And then I was talking to Will about it earlier today, and he was like, "Yeah, they bring their own mixer and their own equipment to uh, like ensure. Is it to ensure like to make sure everything sounds right? Because yeah, no, you guys sound better on, than a lot of bands out here live. We're trying to put on the best show possible for people. Yeah, you know what I'm like, saying? Yeah. Like, we like, have like this, this like a uh, a standard, a almost, standard, right? pretty yeah. much at this point to like be like you know like a like a uh, set a bar for like you know. For other people, you know, too, like, it's like, if we're going to be there, like, we're going to put on a good show. So I hope yeah. you're going to put on a good show with us, you know, type of thing. Like, at the yeah. same time, you know, it's like if, if, if you're running into somebody that's hearing you for the first time, you really want to give them like the best first impression. So, yeah, well, like, you achieve that for sure, bro. You, know, you so, definitely achieve that. And Five so people really take pride in that. Like, I yeah. personally always, you know, always do that. And then running into these guys, like they do the same thing. They want they want to hear what they hear in their head. That's how I am. If that makes sense. No, it makes total sense, bro. Yeah. Five people, sense. five people will get the same show as 200 people. You know what I'm saying? Like, if there's five people there, there's 200 people there, everyone gets the same show. That's what's up, man. That's you know what I'm saying. And, and we've done that, you know, played yeah. to five people and played to like 50, you played the to same amount of energy. More, and less, more, less, you know. 100, man. This time's. You know, if anything, I bring more energy when it's five people in the room. Yeah. I'm like, I'm going to touch your head. I'm going to touch your soul. Your soul. You know, it's like, it's more sensual. But at the same yeah. time, you know, biggest to biggest stages and bigger crowds, you know. that's Yo, AJ, what's your nationality, bro? Like, I've been trying to nail it for like months already, man. <laughs> you got to guess it, man. You what got you three tries. <laughs> um, He's a chameleon, bro. He's like Paula Asian. Abdul. You don't know what nationality she is. Asian. You got the it. Asian yeah. community. Yeah, you got it. Specifically, South though, Asian. that's a like, oh, you're okay, okay. Yeah, makes so total sense. Yeah, man. I was gonna put. You got it. Man, that's what's up, bro. That's what's up, man. For Pakistan, yeah. And that means you could you could get into any like room and and vibe with any culture, any. It doesn't matter because you're yeah, you're right. hip hop, you're rock, you're yeah. I see you vibing with anybody. He's oh, a yeah. social butterfly. You're a social <laughs> butterfly. Yeah, yeah, after the show, it's hard to get back in the car. You're just talking to everybody. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I bet. I bet, man. Yeah, I, I, I I saw him outside the club last time I saw him. So yeah, I believe yeah, it. That. Nah, we, yeah, we was outside chilling, smoking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, nah, that's what's up, man. Any goals for like the end of the year? We got like two months left in this. Yeah, man. Release uh, the CP. Release the CP. I know we promised it before, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. But we we really want to get it out the right way. Shout out to Plan the Man and everybody. You know, we really want to do this the right way, you know. I hear you now. You guys have a, a standard for yourselves, and that's what's up. I wanna, don't want to put anything less than your own standards yeah, man. for a fact. Hundred percent. Like right now, we've been you know uh, a lot of uh, behind the scenes stuff. Like we've been promoting like just like with the songs we have out, you know. So just to give people like a vibe of the live show to get you know more attention to that. So a lot of cool like promos on that end. We're trying to film a video soon, like a full music oh, yeah, music video. Yeah, we have like a. Uh, I mean, you guys got a hell of a roster already with music videos. Yeah, no, but like a legit like kind of like a. Characters in the music video. Oh, like, 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 we almost have like, like a, a narrative one, like sabotage with the Beastie Boys. <laughs> you guys gonna wear like different outfits and stuff? No, no honestly, yo, honestly, I, I'm down for that. I was, I was selling them. Uh, there's one song that we haven't released yet. Uh, nah, but what I was saying for Rattlesnakes, like my vibe for that was, 
like I want to get a snake. Like it's the name of the song is called Rattlesnake, and these guys are just like, "Fuck no!" <laughs> I think you guys did mention that last interview too. Yeah, I did. yeah, yeah. I think you I did. Really You're talking to, about man. it. I'm still on it, but these I can't. I can't. I ain't going to be there for that shit. For a rattlesnake, <laughs> I ain't going to be there, bro. I, but are rattlesnakes? Oh yeah, rattlesnakes are deadly, right? They nah, are like, extremely deadly. Yeah, extremely right. Nah, They're like the worst like, snake. Nah, but you go by like Coney Island, and you know those little snake shows, those freak shows. And oh yeah, stuff. I like, hey, gonna, let me borrow it. Yeah, give me a couple hours. Nah, we was thinking of like asking them, like, yo, can we like, film, oh, actually, like a video yeah, here? Yeah. Like, we'll give you some money. Yeah, you got to do it without telling them, bro. That's, that's, that's it. If they're Word. not down for it. <laughs> if the song is called Rattlesnake, bro, you have to have yeah, a rattlesnake in the video. Bro, that's what I'm saying, man. <laughs> CGI. Yeah, that's a hell of a budget you so guys are going to have for that video. Yeah, that's two more, is what more expensive. Yeah, that's word, good. right? <laughs> I'm, person. I'm down, I'm down to save money. And, you know, nah, let me stop. We'll just put someone in a rattlesnake costume. <laughs> like a, That'll like, be dope, too, though. Like That'd be dope. A too. grown man in a rattlesnake costume. You ever, you guys ever watch like Tame Impala videos? Like how oh, trippy they are. I, I never those. seen videos. I like the music though, but I've never seen the videos. Check out one of their videos one day because they're trippy as all hell. And yeah. like you guys should do something like that. If you're not gonna get if you're not gonna get a real snake, then make it trippy as hell where like you feel like you seen you're seeing a rattlesnake in it. Wow. And they don't even use that much CGI in their videos, I don't think. I think they they make it all like uh practical, but it still feels trippy the way we're watching it. Like, yeah, so try to do something like that. That'll be dope. Mm. Or you could just, like, go to, like, one of those zoos that, like, show these animals. Now, the zoo definitely won't let them, like, met, like do a no, video just with hop it. The gate, hop the gate. <laughs> hop the gate. Go there and just say, hey, can we record a, a rattlesnake? From outside the cage. Because zoos are very, cage. very careful with everything. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well. You want an anchorman situation. I do it. I'm, I, like I said, I told them I'll take the risk. Rattlesnake or just a regular snake? I'll do it. I really want to get that. Vibe out <laughs> Nah I feel you I feel you on that one You definitely gotta get A real rattlesnake For the video rat Rattlesnake <laughs> That's uh, uncle. You know what he was Telling me earlier He was like yo These guys Their music sounds like It could be like In a wrestling uh, As a wrestling guy's entrance Absolutely And I was I was feeling That's that That's what I, that? I was just Thinking <laughs> yeah. about Like I don't know If you guys know, um, Played like Smackdown versus Raw Like 07 oh, yeah, yeah, yeah It's like yeah. The, the song Like that had a, a Beautiful music palette Right there oh, And dude. I feel like Your guy If you guys had your song in that game, that's, that's it like, would fit so well. That's especially a for goaded entrance. compliment, bro. Because like, no, I like, grew I up just, on that shit, and I yeah, love those songs. I was know? just listening to your songs. Early. I'm like, okay, this could be like, if like if we can like, get you like a like an indie wrestler or someone from WWE or AEW or something like that, and get you guys with their mu your music with them, I'll do it. It can fit. I can it's see like, your songs fit into like somebody's persona and they can just like yeah. feel the energy it's like a uh, motorhead and a uh, triple h triple h yeah, yeah. that'd be cool as fuck are you guys wrestling heads like have you guys are you guys still watching like wrestling? when i was little when i was a kid like i've been i've been keeping an eye on it last thing i know was my son bad bunny was in there yeah, yeah. we were just talking about bad bunny today too what do you guys think of bad bunny bro he's taking over the whole world oh he out here i love it it is what it is, man. He's you know, everywhere, bro. Rap, hip, movie, my, wrestling. My uncle back in Pakistan knows him. <laughs> like, <laughs> That's crazy, bro. That in Spanish, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he, he he found some strategy, bro. He, his face is every, He I think he's using the, the Snoop Dogg method. Just show up everywhere. Mm -hmm. but I think Snoop Dogg is like the most famous rapper in the world. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You see those videos where he just be like. Uh, the big commercials. commercials? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. yeah. they're perfect. Got, like, pardoned by the Queen of England. He got pardoned. Really? Yeah, he was locked up in England. For what? What did he do? Um, I think because they know he was he smoked and whatnot. That's um, all. Tell people smoking. I don't think he wasn't locked up. No, it was the news. The newspaper said something about him. Oh, and the Queen of England just said, "Don't talk about this man this way." All that stuff. He said that on the interview. The whole world loves him, bro. The whole world loves him. Yeah. Like it, if you, if you're gonna bring Snoop Dogg anywhere, you know he's gonna smoke. Like don't expect him. Like you can't expect him. What else do you smoke. expect, bro? Or he's gonna smoke. Collapse you know along. Yeah, like if anything, he's a he's a ambassador of the. He's a proof that you know weed smoking is not necessarily a negative thing, bro. Because look how much he's achieved while being high. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like like uh, suburban America has accepted who he is already. Like that's that's like you know who else has that honor. What, is that like something you guys want to see yourselves doing? Like you guys want to appear in like, like uh, food shows. You guys want to appear in cereal boxes, video Hell games. Yeah. Hell yeah. Household name. Tomorrow's never promised socks. Yeah, let's do it. I'm yeah. on the Food Network. Hundred percent. I'm with that. Man. The Food Network. Yeah, that, man. Get Martha Stewart on your side. What? Yes. Get a Tomorrow Never Promised video game. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, there was a game that was very really good with metal. Um, not the Aerosmith yeah. game. No, no. You guys ever played? Black. He played. He voiced it. Um. Oh, uh, I know um, what you're talking. Metal. I know yeah, what you're yeah, talking yeah. about. It's no, it's uh, something else. Oh. It's, it's something metal. I actually Brutal, had it. Brutal, 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 Brutal Legend. Brutal yeah. Legend. Yeah. Brutal Legend. Legend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Sick game. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, yeah. but the Aerosmith game is wild. It's a shooting game and everything like that. I and didn't like, know they had it. Yet. Yeah, it's like an arcade, like like Area Fifty One. I didn't know that. And everything. I yeah, look that up. I, I only knew about up. like uh, I knew Michael Jackson had a game. Kiss had a game too. I, I didn't know that. Kiss cool. had a game, but it's like a it's like a action like they hold what axes about, and stuff. Everything. Oh, Michael Jack. Michael Jackson had two a lot of games. Well, no, he had one main game, and he appeared in a yeah, couple just, different yeah, games. He had the Moonwalker game that yeah, came out. Yeah, that was his that game. Super Nintendo. Yeah. yeah. And Sega. Then, it was a Sega. It was a Sega. Yeah. And then he had the Michael Jackson experience on the Wii. Oh, that's right. See, that's that right. Idea? The Just that's Dance good. game. Yeah, yeah, the dancing I game. Fly, yeah, yeah um, man. What was that? Um, That fighting game, but it was like a bunch of rappers in it. Def Jam. Oh, Def Jam. Like Vendetta. Vendetta. I, yeah, that, that, yeah. That's a classic. That's where you that see Snoop was Dogg was in there. He was the bad guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was my shit, man. I was actually thinking that the only way you could possibly make that game work today with today's rappers is if you include rockers in it too, like classic rockers with it too. Oh, that'd be sick. I think you would have to. Because if you really think about it, um, if you look at a rapper from like the 2000s compared to a rapper of today, right? Yeah. Um, Rappers of today are more human. Where like rappers of the two thousands, they were larger than life. They were like comic book characters. They were huge. Yeah, yeah. buff. The CGI in the videos, Fifty yeah. Cent hanging upside down. <laughs> he was he was he wasn't a human. He was a, even Buster Rhymes, Red Man. They were transforming in their videos, so they they fit in a video game. But realistically, do do you really want to see Drake get punched in the face in a video game? <laughs> Maybe for different reasons, but. Yeah, nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Here, like, I, better find your I don't know if I, I don't know if I want to see. J- <laughs> I don't want to see J Cole power bomb somebody, bro. Like, nah, it's like you know what I mean. I don't know if it would work like right that. There. Drake hitting the move. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> somebody with the. <laughs> that's jokes, man. Nah, I know that's... people do want to see it for the wrong reasons, but <laughs> but yeah, I would say you would have to cross it over with like rock too. Word. Nah. Like make it a crossover with both what genres. What the name of the game be called? Because you can't call it Def Jam and that or not. Def Jam versus uh, versus the world or something like that. Like how they did WCW versus the world. Mm. It's called just hip hop. That's it. Just keep it simple. <laughs> but if you but if you had the rockers, you can't just call it hip hop. Oh yeah, if you yeah. had both. Ah. Both music genres. I don't know how would would you call, like call the combination of rock and hip hop like what music. Would, that be a <laughs> music whole new the, the, genre the game. Max. Well, no, because because what you guys call yourselves is dark grunge, and you guys are definitely like a little bit uh, hip hop influenced. Definitely oh, yeah. like like uh, what would you say, new metal influence too, or? It's just so many, bro. I don't even yeah, know. I feel like just, I feel like you guys are a melting pot of, of yeah. different genres in your music. Oh yeah, hundred percent. We just mix it very well. Man. Yeah, yeah. We put yeah, a no, bunch like, of stuff together, def- it just mix properly. Yeah, definitely like it's different together. walks. Like the um, like he put me onto a lot of different music I didn't know about, you know, and it's vice versa with everyone. So everyone's been exposed to different things. Like I grew up in Brooklyn, Flatbush, so I was like put onto a lot of like, uh, you know. Kali Buds, you know, like like a lot of <laughs> that type, yeah, yeah, that type of vibe. Like that would yeah. that's when I heard about a lot of melodic stuff. People just like pulling out a melodica and like you know just jamming. They just talking, making a sound. You know, it's music. Yeah, that's how it started. Uh, and I think that's I think that's the inspiration. Like, like everyone's been exposed differently. Like Jared Kilgrave, he's like fucking. He's like metal so to well, the end. Yeah, yeah, metal to the end, but so well rounded. You you know, like as a, as a like his ear, like nah. he produces hip hop. You know, yeah, he like does. Him. Yeah, yeah. With him. oh, wow, I know uh, yeah, that AJ like does. Solo, yeah, yeah, so much solo stuff. Like, yeah, it's Kilgrave produced, which is you know, Kilgrave produced. Oh wow, and he's a metalhead. You said yeah, he's a metalhead. Yeah. yeah, that's what's up, man. Yeah, man. That's so what's up. Keyword well rounded. That's 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 something that's very good to like hear. Like someone you know he. He sounds like he's only for metal, but he knows other genres. He's open to it. Oh yeah, no, versatile. Like one thing, one thing, like we discuss all the time is just like, like we're we're not one trick ponies. We we can do so many different things he, on my solo ends. He's done solos on my solo stuff because I'm like, why not corner markets? You know, like there's so many different ways we can showcase what we can do, but at the same and at the same time, just show the world. You know, so no facts. So that's what we've been doing. Facts. But as far as like uh, like 
what we got here with the TMP shit, I feel like that shit is like. It's hitting, Something, bro. Yeah, it's hitting. Man, it's been hitting. Man. It's hitting. Because whenever I play for people, they're blown away by it. Yeah, we got so lucky. Yeah, nah, it ain't luck. Definitely ain't luck. Shout out to Plan the Man Jose. Nah, man. we nah, we got lucky with like finding each other, finding oh, the right people at the sense. right time, the right yeah. producer to man. producer. Everything was like yeah. correct, you know? The yeah. right time. I'm rocking with it, man. Like, the the plan right is aligning you know, if you want to look at it like that. The yeah. plan is just aligned for you guys. Yeah, I felt lucky finding you guys because the minute I found you guys, I went and ran and I told people. And they were like, Yeah, bring, bring them on my show. Yeah, like, mom, yeah. Yo, ever since, since day one, it's been love. The first time yeah. first time we I was on we we was on stage and then I heard like, you know, oh yeah, I was going up that crowd. night. Yeah. We heard reactions from the crowd and one of them was more of showing mad love. Yeah, so I was going nuts. Right that on night. right on after you kept it, you know, profession straight to the point. Yeah, bro. man. We had to have you back. You yeah. Know? We gotta have you come true. Yeah. It's you know? good that you guys like acknowledge that, especially when you guys um like see the crowd. Cause sometimes like people from the crowd when they don't know they don't. Sometimes they think like, do they uh, do they acknowledge us seeing mm -hmm. them perform? You know, mm -hmm. the fact yeah, when yeah. you said that, that was like a very humbling thing to hear. Yeah, hundred. No, but at the same time, I feel like Marv is. Marv I was, was hyping that night. Yeah, I was hyping Marv that was night. like, yeah. Nah, y'all serious? <laughs> yeah, I was. I was. I was. I was having a good time. I was having a good time. I gotta come to one of your shows. I gotta bring you the cues. Oh, dude, dude. I gotta actually. Bring you we're cues. playing November third. Third. I want to say at uh, QXTs. I'm going to be there for that one for sure. I, um, like I kind of want to take a trip to the city because I haven't been in a while. So let me know where you guys are playing Yo, in Brooklyn. Yo, you should come to uh, Lucky 13 Saloon. We're playing their Halloween show. Halloween. We're actually oh, so next week? Halloween. It's, uh, yeah, next week. The 20, it's the 29th. No, no, no. 29th. The, the week after next. Next week is bye week. Yeah, because yeah, Halloween like is a football. Monday or something, right? I treat it like football. Like so this one's a Saturday. What's the venue show called? This week, show uh, this Lucky week, 13 Saloon. This, week. this will be out on that day because this is coming out next Saturday. So yeah, everybody that's watching, if you're watching this in the morning, <laughs> just me, you know, cancel your plans. Head up Lucky Saloon, man. That's gonna be like it's like one of their like big nights, you know, there they they say like the yeah. Halloween shows. So yeah, it's like really, we got really? lucky, you know. We played a show there and they like watched us, they saw us and they asked us to come back for like that show, you know. So got grateful you. to be there, you know, and it's supposed to be like a really good show. So it's yeah, gonna be really, a really good show. Yeah, really good local bands, you know. Yeah. We played with a few of them already. But, yeah. Uh really good, really good music. Well, what got it, like, got like it. rituals are like to prepare themselves for a show? Good question, um, bro. Yeah, I mean, I kind of just uh, smoking. I, I just not. Nah, I, I like. I, <laughs> nah. I like. I smoke, but like I, I, I stop yeah. smoking at some point, you know. Like and then like I'll just like start sipping a little bit, you know. Like get yeah. myself because like I like shit my pants before I get on stage, you know. You guys are a hype band, so what hypes you guys up? Like what? What? Because I mean, like when I go on stage, I try to be like. As uh, clear minded as possible, just because I want to interact with everyone, you know, I really want to, but it doesn't always end up like that because, you know, yeah. but I prefer to just like, you know, uh, just smoke and then have uh, maybe a beer or two on the like while I'm getting up on stage, you know, okay. not to overdo it. Um, but after you know it's rock and roll, sex, drugs, and rock and roll, baby. Yeah, man. <laughs> Once yeah. the song hits and he starts singing that first part of Lady in White, like yeah. when he comes in, it's just over. Like I just get like really, oh uh, yeah, amped up. yeah. What was the thing? Uh, that was the song that I was listening to earlier. Yeah, we are was, all of them already. I was like, wonder who hurt y'all. Who, who, oh yeah, who's the who's the lady, the lady in white? Who was asking that? The main topic to me was Lady in White, like something that I that always tells me to come with her. You know what I mean? When when nobody like when nobody else wants you, like I I, I understand the story. Yeah, I the whole the whole EP is about like uh, I guess past experiences um, with like like you know having like, you know, like drug usage and stuff like that. You know, like and that's a good segue to what I wanted to get to next. It's more of like a do. It's like we're I'm like you know for example like me like I'm better now you know so yeah. I. Uh, write songs about it now in the past like how i used to feel back in the like i sometimes put myself back in that place of like that darkness yeah and then like i'll start writing you know it's like i felt that time you know because you that's like, like i feel like your songs like it's a good mental release for you 100 percent. yeah it's, good. it's always good like i know what last week i think was like mental health awareness that's a good that's a good thing right there. you guys are like from one of the epicenters of music mm -hmm. and you guys both grew up there in brooklyn too yeah, yeah. like a uh, whole lives yeah boy yeah, yeah, you probably have walked past people who have become superstars without you realizing it. Joey oh, yeah. Badass. Was Joey Badass, what I'm saying. I've like, uh, seen him a couple of times. Flatbush Zombies. Flatbush um, Zombies. i never seen them, but yeah, they lived on Flatbush, not too far from yeah. us. Um, who else? Tons, uh, even, even if we're going back like like ten, uh, the 90s and everything. Oh, 
No, no, even uh, like recently. Uh, like Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, right? That's yes, what I'm saying. Came out not too name? far uh, from us. Gashi. You know? There was Gashi too. Gashi's, uh, he just recently came up out of. Uh, is there like yeah. is there like a feel to to uh, to your story where like you have to make it because you're from somewhere where you're from Brooklyn, bro? Like that's yeah. a bit where Brooklyn at. They don't say they don't ask me where Jersey's at. Like nobody's. <laughs> <laughs> no offense, I love I love Jersey. Yeah. I love it here, but bro, nobody's asking oh, yeah. me where Jersey's at, bro. <laughs> What what how does that feel to be like from Brooklyn, bro? I feel I feel like it's definitely something to you know it's something on your back that you got to make sure you rep. So when you're going somewhere else, you know, like just uh, showing what pe- uh, showing people what you got and then telling them, telling them you from Brooklyn, it's it's power. There's power behind it. A lot of greats came out of Brooklyn, you know. It's like, I'm try- and like we're trying to be on that like list of greats that came out of fucking. Yeah, uh, what bands came out of Brooklyn? The Ramones. The Ramones. Yeah. The Ramones, bro. Uh, the I was, Ramones. I just started thinking about like ODB and shit like that. I think the Beastie Boys are from Brooklyn. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they the are Beastie Boys Brooklyn. are from Brooklyn. Some, some members are from Wu-Tang. Well, Staten well, Island. Yeah. Staten Island. Uh, oh. RZA is from Staten Island, yeah. but ODB is from Brooklyn, but he used yeah. to visit his co- their cousins, so yeah. he used to visit like mm-hmm. Staten. But they definitely rep Staten more. Well, ODB got the Brooklyn Zoo song, so I guess he he rapped both. But yeah, that's why ODB can now. Nah, but it definitely Staten Wu Tang Staten. Yeah, Wu Tang yeah. definitely a Staten thing. The only cool thing about Staten. I'm but definitely kidding. not. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> you guys are definitely from one of the epicenters of art and culture, man. Like that. Yeah. That's an amazing thing. Like, did you feel that growing up too? Oh yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Like right now, uh, like you can kind of see the transition. Like right where I was, you know, by Flatbush, um, there used to be King's Theater. And King's Theater, like when I was growing up, it had like bullet holes in it, with it, <laughs> with it, you know, all of that. And then now you got, you got like, uh, you know, people coming to do comedy shows. You got, you know, big shows happening over there and shit now. Yeah. I think Jay Z opened that shit up. Or was that Webster Hall? Like, you know, I don't, I think it was. <laughs> you guys take the yeah, Nets from us. Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> Our only basketball team. We got nothing anymore. I think what a baseball team. I think the Guardians. We don't got a baseball team. We yeah, got I a minor we, league. Oh, oh no, maybe a football. League. We got hockey. He's a maybe. Damn, yeah. we got, <laughs> got maybe we got anymore. football team. No, yeah, no I think no, the no, Jets was no. the Jersey, like Jersey Jets, right? Well, they yeah. play in Jersey, but yeah. they're not from Jersey. Yeah, yeah, no. Jets, now, I mean, yeah. if you think of football, yeah, they both play in Jersey, but they're called the New York Giants and Jets. Yeah. But it's uh, fucked up, man. Yeah, I could take uh, the chance. Yeah. <laughs> nah, we're good. We're good. <laughs> when a Jersey artist pops, like it's a big deal because oh, like yeah, we don't get a lot of them, man. Yeah. Fetty Wap, is, oh. he popped everybody. In yeah, Fetty's from right. Fetty's from my hometown. He's from Patterson, yeah. and um, Baby, won't you come yeah. my way? it was dope yeah, when he popped, guy. but uh, it was short lived, man. It wasn't. It was a short run. Mm-hmm. Nah. I think he let out too many hits at once. I think he uh. Still. Shot his load out too quick. So impact <laughs> is an impact. That's that's the thing I could just say. If like any nah. musical talent, as long as you have an impact to the world, yeah. If, if it, even this is just one song, it change it can change someone's life. Yeah, hell yeah. It's like nah, impact. Facts. Yeah, it's impact and hope. It gives that impact gives people hope. Exactly. Yeah, because you never know. Like your story with your songs could change mm-hmm. someone's like perspective of life. Yeah. Plus, people always prospect our songs. I want like people not to ever like. I hate the like. I don't like the questions of like, like, what's the song mean to you? Because like, it doesn't. I almost personally view it like. Mm. I don't. Care, I don't care what it means to me. It's like when you're listening to it, whatever is like making you right feel. Uh, that's what it's about. Because I, I wrote think, it for like oh, not man. me. I didn't write it for me. Like I love hearing yeah. my own music, but like, uh, you know, for the listeners, you know, it's like because like I don't. Pretty sure the when I my favorite songs in the world, like when I interpret them, I'm pretty sure it's not the same interpretation that they the band wrote. You it have has, uh, but to me, it's like it means something. Ooh, yeah. You have this. Uh, it's like annoying sometimes when you get asked some questions yeah. that you don't like. It's not yeah. about what I think. That nah, reminds me. It reminds me yeah, of like honestly. an old. I can tell you me. why I wrote it, but it's like in reality though, it's whatever they. It's think. what you interpret it yeah, as. It's whatever yeah, you want. No, I think it, was, uh, it reminds me of like an old ass uh, uh, interview I seen with Billy Joe, where like somebody was like pressing him about it, like, "What did you feel about this song? It was really depressing and things like that." And Billy Joe kind of lost it. He's like. Like what the fuck do you think? Do you yeah, think? yeah, yeah. So it's exactly. definitely that same thing. But like, like, like from our from my perspective, I try to keep it short, simple. But sometimes I'll say what he says. Like it's it's kind of hard to like you know kind of pinpoint it. But but I always give it a little 
You know, yeah, that's you, I said, you put your spin cocaine. on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I could, it, I, but I got deep a little bit. I was like, but it talks about <laughs> a, something that feels like cocaine. Nah, I dig it. Exactly. I, I, I wouldn't dig have it. known that. Like uh-huh. when I heard it, I thought it was just something about like, yo, who is this bitch? You know? <laughs> but you know what? Like that's like the beauty about music is like everybody can take their own interpretation of the song yeah. and make their own story about it, and then it just it could just change their lives. Oh, yeah. Bingo, bingo. Oh, That's a fact. Like, because there's sometimes like people, they can be in a dark place and they hear that one song that just changed that 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 speaks to their soul and their heart, and then they're like, "Wow, I want to go see them." Yeah, they understand me. Or, That's how I feel with uh, Coplay. Yeah, Coplay is dope. I hear "Fix You." I just be like, uh. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Here, but I ain't gonna lie. That song "Let It Go." The Beatles? <laughs> From Disney. <laughs> oh, that let it go. That, 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 that got me through a thinking dark of let time it be. Breakup. I'm thinking of let it be over here. I remember, I remember being on the ad, man. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't had no money in my pocket. <laughs> I heard this Yo, shit. I put on let it go. <laughs> shit. <laughs> I let it go. I'm going to tell you right now. I let it go. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm I. <laughs> Chilling right It's like... Way how songs be, it, it it doesn't even matter. It could be a kid's song or non. It just it hits everyone yeah. different. Yeah, it's like, that toy, story. It's like that toy Story song. Whenever I hear that shit, I want to dap up my homie. Like, oh, yeah, man. yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> Yo, is the writing process like like vibey for you guys? Are you like do you get like into like a, a weird mental state like when you're putting together these words? Uh, I mean, yo, for the most part, like as far as melodies, it like. Like we did a few songs that's on the next project, yeah. Uh, Harm and you know songs like that where you know he just like he felt it out. He played a few things. Our basses laid it down, and then I'm just at, while they're like laying it down, I'm just sitting like, okay, I hear a melody like this, and I'm already writing. And then I'll never just be like, all right, this is final. I'll just be like, what do you guys think? You know. And then from there, maybe they we want to switch up some words, or maybe the topic, or sometimes it's not even it. You know. So I feel like it's both. Like we can vibe, and then at the same time, we we're not scared to tell each other not at it. We 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 never force anything. I'll tell you that. Yeah. We never like we've like we used to like the whole session, like the whole time writing this EP. It's gonna come out soon. Um, we spent it like we spend weekends in a basement in uh Queens, you know, gotcha. and uh, with our producer, who's uh Marco's brother, yeah. SZA, and um. That's the we, uh, Shout out the scissor. We got the scissor. Yeah. A lot of the time we weren't writing. A lot of time we were kind of just hanging out, you know, like drinking, smoking, you know, yeah. doing stuff. And then uh, randomly, I'd pick up the guitar. Or randomly, like scissor would hop on the on the MP, on 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 the computer and like start playing a beat or whatever it was. And then we would just like yeah. just vibe on the spot right there. Boom! It was. It's like we call that place the void. It's like a void there. Like we yeah. get like. These, like I don't know how we write these songs sometimes. Like it's just like they come out so crazy. It's like I don't remember writing them. It's just like it's no, like you sometimes it's trans, just like, like I don't even know how I wrote that riff so fast. Yeah. Like how we how we came together so yeah. fast. Like we all just like vibe like one by one. The guitar riff was written. He wrote the beat. He already had the lyrics done. It's like as we're like going, like someone's already working on the next part. As it, yeah. as we're like playing it back and stuff. It it's like butter. the next person. Yeah, you know, it's like it's, it was always butter. You know, every song was written one weekend. You know. So yes, that's the episode kinda, highlight, by yeah, the way. Like, <laughs> the chemistry, right? yeah. yeah. Like I, I remember, saying it, it, it kind of uh, like as far as time, like talking about how much time and stuff. Like I remember seeing something where Kanye posted it up. He was just like, "This is how much time I spent on this song, inevitably in the studio. Like no part, no more parties in L.A. and these type of songs. And then there were some songs that were like five days." Three months, nine months. You know, there was some songs that were forty-five minutes, fifteen, like that Scoopy Dee Poop, yeah, Poop Dee Dee Scoop. Like you know that song that I'm. I think that one was like twenty minutes. It was done. You know, that so, was twenty minutes. That yeah. was twenty. Yeah, because like realistically, he just only had like what a minute and a half of yeah, vocals. It was, yeah, everything else was just like the instrumental. No, I thought yeah, twenty minutes yeah. was long for that. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was pretty was long. Like, and then, five uh, minutes. So like going back to our um, project, like. We were like, you know, getting inspired and chilling and, you know, just vibing out a lot. Mm -hmm. So really thinking about how much time we actually spent on it probably wasn't a lot. Like we just like vibed. It It was an idea. We're like, yo, let's get it down, get it down. We let it down. And then from there, it was just let's work on it. You know, so every song probably took like maybe a couple of hours. 
Yeah. Like that was just to write though. You know, like just to like lay it down that we like leave and yeah. then like our producer would uh mix put it to get mix yeah. and put it together. Like we would come back to something different than what we recorded, like a little differently. Like it's like the same like guitar, everything's the same, but he like the way he mixed it down together or maybe added something of his own to it. Yeah. It came out that like came, that. Yeah, it came out later, but for the most part, like the time we put in it was it was uh very came minimal. like butter. It was just very quick. Yeah. That's what's up. I was very surprised about it. That's what's up. No, that, that's, that's how I knew at that point. I was like, yo, like we're, we're, we, we work way too fast. Like, like <laughs> the way they're writing these songs, the way they're coming out is way too quick. Yeah, it's overwhelming. And then um, we're like, we want to get some shows like consistently and stuff. And then now we're, no, how does it work about like finding good. venues and stuff? Like, uh, we got, I mean, like, you guys already were part of the scene beforehand, right? So you knew the venues? Or do you have I to, mean, like, we, kinda... we've already like, Played a bunch of places already, like throughout since the last time you saw us. Like, yeah. played a lot of venues in Brooklyn. Played Vir Virginia. We played. Uh, yeah. No, I mean, uh, for the most part, it's like uh, word of mouth. Like, let's say we try to get in one spot, um, we do get in, um, and then one of the venues be like, "Hey, we got a sister venue here, or we have somebody here that might, or maybe a sound guy that really fucks with us, or something." Yeah, it's something. Or sometimes it's like we've been playing pretty consistently. I feel like it's just the universe. Like every two so weeks, you guys don't like just walk into a venue and say, "Hey, you want to play here?" No, and we have to get we have to get uh, to come back all the time. Yeah, venue like, owners, you yeah, know, like, like we'll probably get um, like somebody to get us the gig or something, and then from then on, when we when we got access and we you know we kill that shit, and see, we just want to come back. You know, you guys are doing great work when you get asked to come back multiple. Oh so, yeah, dude. Like, the, like the podcast. Yeah, like I, can, yeah, love, I know. Bro. I know that brings you. That brings you to another level where you just say, "I'm gonna push harder and be more hungry out here." Hundred percent, man. man you know, it's inspiring, bro. You know, it's like I like. I see. It's like I'm not. I'm not alone seeing this. You know, like I know I'm not crazy. Like we know we're not bugging. You know. Yeah. From like the time it started with us showing just our friends this music from the beginning. And then, like, leading on to, like, of the world hearing our music and, like, everything else. Like, we have a lot of, like, overall plays is, like, a lot. Like, yeah. to us, it's a lot. To me, it's, like, it's, like, over probably, like, fucking 12,000 at this point. Like, just overall plays in the matter of, like, four wow. months. Four or five months. That's You know, so it's, amazing. like. amazing. You guys just been here, like, for a year? Yeah. A year now. Yeah, but we've only like, been, like, released, like, four mm -hmm. months ago. Yeah. yeah, five months ago. Like, yeah, and then and, and then the, like the love that's been like it's just from like con like you said consistently playing and stuff and really just trying to I guess like really using social media at a certain extent. But for you the have most to at part, this point, you know, it's like yeah. what else are you gonna do well, if, you, if you have the access? You got to uh -huh. use it. You, know? you guys so, doing TikToks? Exactly. Oh yeah, TikTok. uh, not yeah, yeah but not as like but TikTok no, popping. I'll say not TikTok like we're not doing like TikTok things like for, like we post on TikTok, but like not like TikTok trendy things. Got you. All right, I gotta ask about this whole thing about TikTok because you know now these days you see these kids are just using these songs for like short TikTok videos. Mm -hmm. How do you guys feel about that? Like, let's say if someone use your song just to do a TikTok dance, mm -hmm. would you feel like it takes away know. from your art? Nah, uh, go ahead, do it. <laughs> I mean, I, Go ahead, I, spread I mean, my music. I don't, I don't care. I don't it. care how you hear it. As long as you hear it. I don't. What I what I what I did see, like I don't know who it was, but like somebody was actually dropping snippets. Of, like, they would only make fifteen second songs. I wouldn't say I didn't like it. I think it was cool. Like like some girl, she has an idea of a song. She make a fifteen second TikTok, and she'd be like, "Hey, if you guys want to hear the full song, uh, let me know." And then that shit would blow up. And next thing you know, she drops a full song. I kind of like that. It's just like. It's marketing. been it's been really moving the creativity of it, even though it it does create some ADHD. Like it does, yeah, you know, it does. Like, now we're in a society where like attention spans attention are spans short, are very yeah. short, yeah. and it's like if you can capture that one second mm -hmm. of the attention span and to say, oh, I wanted to see more, like. Mm -hmm. then you're doing your job. Yeah, the problem with that whole thing is like people are getting famous off these 15 second clips, like their their songs, but then people only know that 15 seconds of your song and they don't know Bingo. anything else. Yeah, it's sure. like they don't know anything else from your song. They don't know your song. They just know that 15 right. seconds of your song. They yeah. know who you are, but they don't listen to your music at all. Yeah, that's what I that's mean. Do you feel like that, that takes away from your artistry? Yeah, yeah, it definitely it. does. Yeah, because yeah. It's definitely like, does. I mean, I'm not against yeah. it. Go ahead, like use it, like whatever. But like, it's not going to help me in in any way. Yeah. I think exactly. Somebody yeah. else is getting famous off of your words. Uh -huh. Pretty much. People right. only know the uh, the hook to uh, 
what is that? Stevie Nicks was that Stevie Nicks song that got popular on TikTok? I with thought the, she was uh, gonna do the helicopter, the helicopter. That one too. <laughs> that one too. There's so many songs, honestly, I, on TikTok. I didn't know exist until TikTok. I'm picturing yeah. a. Uh, I'm picturing you guys on TikTok right now. I'm like in a bad situation. I'm like, here we go again. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, I'm picturing it in my. Wow, work. it'll work. It'll work. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, so I'm go out there and start making TikToks yeah. to, our, to, to our songs. Right? Yeah. Let's get 15 tonight. seconds famous from each song. I'm gonna make one tonight. I'm already picturing it in my head. <laughs> hey, damn, do Are a little dance wife again. <laughs> you gonna do a little dance? Yeah. Oh, gosh, you, get, you, in dances, you, in a, you in the bathroom? No toilet paper. Here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's like I'll Y'all, you. y'all I'm actually about to make A bunch of those That's actually funny I think that works, yo I think I'm gonna do <laughs> it No, you just say That's you good Eat some uh, milk You eat some ice cream And say, here we go again <laughs> Bro yeah. Yo, then people Can actually, start doing their own I think it Yeah, I think we should all do it, bro Cause yeah, I think it, it, it works dead. perfectly We'll do it after this, man like, uh, Yeah, we're gonna do it The bathroom one brief, That was perfect TikTok. <laughs> no, no toilet paper Here we go oh, Yo, wow. you, gotta, you gotta spin it with like, like Fuck, here we go again <laughs> <laughs> I'm picturing it. I'm picturing, it. but it's short lived. That that viral hit stuff yeah. is very short lived. No, I'm just, it's, it's very short lived. It don't last long. Mm-hmm. You you're like a uh, you're like popcorn, like movie popcorn. Like yeah, when well, it's over, it's over. I guess for me, I was just like for me, I, I just do like the fact that people are being noticed. Like artists are being noticed from it, though. Like actual yeah. artists, you know. Like uh, was it Olivia Rodrigo? Yeah, yeah, amazing. Yeah. No, no, artists are popping from there. That's for sure. But whatever y'all said is facts. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, I really uh, opened my mind on that. I didn't really think about it like that. Yeah, I actually fast forward the um, clips I put on uh, Instagram, like of me speaking, because the tennis pants so short. I got to make it under a minute, so I do like a slight fast forward, so you can't tell that it's actually fast forward. Okay. Oh, like yeah. you, so it pitches your voice too a little bit. No, I actually learned how to do it without pitching your voice. Uh, yeah, so it doesn't make it sound like a high pitch. So can you make us this whole interview talk like we're like like spitting bars? I have to. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, <laughs> but, but you won't know there's a difference. <laughs> I think the way you're just scrolling through TikTok, you don't notice that everything is being fast forwarded. Like people are doing it too, not just me. Sucks. Uh, and they have a text reading for you. Yeah, like, yeah, like it's a yeah. robot reading for you. That's yeah. Like, yeah. That like true, that's yeah. that's a method for TikTok and like fast forward your video so it fits in that minute time length because once you go past a minute nobody's gonna watch. Oh, so, yeah, that. so you have to make it short. Even a minute is kind of long too. Yeah, uh, I think what the average like attention span for seven three, seconds. Or yeah, they. I actually heard it was three now three, yeah. that people watch three seconds of a TikTok before swiping if they don't like it. Oh my! You God. have three seconds to catch their attention. Wow. What happened to humanity? <sighs> yeah, man. Dog. Yeah, bro. It's crazy. It's crazy. Like you got to be fast with it. You got to catch attention fast. I mean, I, I wouldn't say I fell victim to that because I was take my time. I see food. I be like, ah, no doubt. Where is see food being cooked? Some shit. Like, the food stuff is the best, honestly. Uh, the word, I'll tell you, with social media, you be catching yourself watching the weirdest things. You be just seeing like a pimple popping video. <laughs> Ooh, yo, this? yo, yo, yo! I'm gonna tell you. You right got now, stuck in that hole. I literally last night I was watching ear mites and dogs. Like yo, mites and ears. So I was like, <laughs> I was like, why does this happen? Yeah, you and Jose. Why am I interested? Why am I looking at this? <laughs> this bugged me out. This is not life. <laughs> yeah, bro. And your phone knows what you pause in front of. It's not really about what you interact with or you hit like. It's what you pause in front of, and then it calculates how many seconds was he looking at this for, mm-hmm. yeah, and then yeah. it'll show you more of that because you stared for a long time at it. Mm-hmm. And that's how it works now So it's it's crazy No he, wonder there's so much booty on my TikTok man. Bingo Bingo <laughs> The algorithm of your life <laughs> Yeah Yeah Not so TikTok TikTok, Twitter, Instagram I was like They knew what oh. they're doing They knew what they were doing bro But yeah It's a, it's a tough game It's a tough game Hell, Our phones are listening to us as, as we speak right now Yeah word If we could like, If I say the word Pokemon Next week you're gonna see Pokemon Some pop ads up. Yeah word Pokemon. Bill Gates Go Bill Gates knows us yeah. better than we know ourselves Right Jeez. or uh, Steve Jobs is a uh, AI robot <laughs> knows us better than we know ourselves for a fact. Do we really know ourselves? Um, our phones know us. Yeah. Our phones know us better than we know ourselves. Hell yeah! There's something that we gotta sometimes hit. Like, sit down, ask her. Like, Numbers don't lie. Yo, you. Once he said that, do we know ourselves? You have to add that X Files theme song. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna have a lot of good little uh, like TikTok videos off of this episode already, <laughs> for sure, for sure. Good vibes here, good vibes. Yeah, definitely, man. But getting back to the music, bro. So we're speaking about TikTok, uh, like music popping off of TikTok, bro. Were you guys like? 
part of like the MySpace era of like uh, music where people were like getting big off of MySpace. Yeah. Yeah. What was My MySpace was popping, bro. I was bro. young, man. I seen it. I had the whole so. background, all that. Yeah, man. What what how old were you? Like if you don't mind. I was in like when I was using MySpace, I was like junior high school. Yeah. And then like once we got to high school it was like Facebook. Mm-hmm. And then from there I guess what MySpace made a couple bands like too. MySpace like changed. Wasn't Yellow Card? Yellow Card got big yeah. off of MySpace. Oh, yeah, like you could like you could I run up on pages and the music would play and yeah, stuff. Yeah, you I can go and like have like say if, we, if MySpace was like popping how it was yeah. back in the early two uh-huh. thousands, right? You guys put your song and you have your MySpace page and everything, mm-hmm. and you just have your song playing on repeat on repeat. And someone's on your page, all they're gonna hear is your song just repeating, and then they can mm-hmm. listen more. It's like okay, that's how it. Word. That's all. Say MySpace absorbed a lot of people. With uh, Absolutely, bro. Even when you go on someone's page and you hear your song on someone else, you're like, "Oh, that's dope. My song is on this person's page." Yeah, that must have been a great Did feeling. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. That must have been a dope feeling. I Yo, couldn't had, imagine. Has anybody checked up on Tom? Nah, Tom is at that Tom chair gone. still looking. What's backwards. going on with Tom, man? <laughs> Actually, I saw he has a he has a fight Facebook account now. <laughs> <laughs> if you can't beat him, he has like a beard now. He's in the same pose though. <laughs> Unless then, it was a troll or a joke, but I actually did see a, a, a Tom uh, yo, a Facebook account. My son has the same picture with, with the whiteboard behind them saying, fuck Mark. Yeah, <laughs> word. <laughs> but he's got to be rich too, right? Because like MySpace was huge for a little minute. I mean, yeah, no, nah, it's like a music thing now. It's like yeah, MySpace is just right? for music. Yeah, yeah. It's just for music. But I know you. I don't think it's running right now. I, that's the you thing. Can I look it up. Yeah, it still exists, bro. It's, it's, it's <laughs> yeah, I'm scared to check. Does anybody <laughs> still have their MySpace page? That's what I'm scared to check about. Well, you yeah. got deactivated it. I don't even know me. my information from that time. Yeah, I don't know. I had a whole different setup at that time. Eighth grade, I definitely seventh have grade, sixth. Nah. All right, what was your name? Oh yeah, I don't yeah, remember. Yeah. I don't remember nothing. <laughs> nah, he knows it. Come on, <laughs> no, really, nah, I swear I don't remember. Gets money, right? It's gets probably money. something to do with Marilyn Manson. To be honest with you, that's true. You're a big man. I like the whole Marilyn Manson background. Marilyn Manson song playing. Yeah. How you feel about Kanye when he brought out Marilyn Manson at the uh, the Donda? Uh, was it just all like for uh, shock and awe, or he yeah, actually know, had they're, like they're, they're probably homies, I guess. I don't, I don't care. Kanye just likes uh, uh, artists, like in general, people who do. He just knows things. he's like a true artist, I guess. Yeah. Like he like really likes maybe like because like he's in Hollywood, you know. It's probably like a lot of skimmy people out there. So absolutely. So Always he probably like maybe it's like Malin's like one of those people that are not to him like are not you know he trusts I guess so he fucks with him. I, I'm not sure. I don't, I don't really know. But Marilyn got a bad. It's rap, cool that like, you know. He got a rough rap like around the time of like the Columbine shooting and all those things, other things going on. Yeah, they were he, trying to blame him all yeah, that but shit he, he had them. nothing to do with it, you know. Nothing, nothing. But they were blaming the music, like the lyrics and everything oh, yeah. like that. So it's crazy how that's, like that's I think one one risk that we're taking too, you know, like because a lot of our songs are like really kind of get dark like that. And but honestly, it's somebody got to shed a light on it, you know. Like I mean, I've, it, there's everyone shedding. It's some. I well, there's like, music for every feeling. Yeah, I feel like. I feel exactly. like the way I see it, it's like I don't know who said it, but it's like. If you don't say something now, that's something that humanity might not get to hear now. You know, so just say it. Bingo. Yeah, seize the moment right now yeah. because our li- life is like this. And music is mood. So when I'm feeling like I'm in a dark place and I want to hear something dark, like, yeah, I need something to fill yeah. that void. 100%. But on tomorrow, never promise. When I'm feeling cheerful and happy, like, yeah, I might put on some Beatles and whatnot. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. But Hell for yeah. a fact, you need to feel like robbing a bank, you put on. Tomorrow never promise. Bingo. Listen to a lady in white. Listen to a sad, sad, song. To a sad <laughs> song. Listen to Drake. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Take some acid and uh, run down the block. Listen to some Beatles. Some yeah, walrus. bingo, bingo. <laughs> cuckoo, 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 indeed, bro. Cuckoo, cuckoo, indeed, bro. Yeah, you need a, you need music for every mood, and I think that's where that's where music comes from, like different genres. Yeah, mm-hmm. like this, everything that fits a mood and everything yeah. like that. Yeah, nah, like for me, like going back to when we was talking about the uh, like like rituals for shows and shit. Yeah, I do catch myself after shows, like when I'm at home, I like put on really calming music, like like ja- like Chet Baker, like real jazz. Yeah. Look at this guy. Yeah, real like you know with my pinky up with a cup of wine, you know, no, little, no. Little, little smoke pipe like the one that bends up, right? Hell yeah, sophisticated get a fireplace. Yeah, fireplace. Yeah, you have no going on, you honey. Know? Could you bring the, the paper? Road. Like, <laughs> bring the Herald News over, honey, please. And <laughs> my fire for my little, fire, little John on the date. Remember little John on Dave Chappelle? Little John on That's AJ show. when he gets home from a show. <laughs> yeah, I'm dead. It's like you have this persona and then you have your home persona. Yo, what's your guilty pleasure music, bro? That you kind of like it, You wouldn't think That you like that music I don't or say you like that. that song Dude if I were to like Show you my Spotify <laughs> Yo but I know so I know 
You can't. It, it wouldn't be able to be anything like uh, dude, emo I got, or dude, I sh- man, Ricky Martin, bro. You got Ricky Martin up there. Yeah, this guy got pussy cat dolls. On. I got pussy cat dolls. I got some, There's no shame. There's no shame. <laughs> I love it. I got Celine Dion on my phone. Hey, that's what I'm talking. Yo, yo. Now that I, now that you say it, a lot of opera. I listen to a lot of to Luciano album. Pavarotti. I listen to. I know the words. Like I, I don't know what he's saying. Who's the uh, But I know these words Like I can sing it Who's the blind guy That uh, that uh that, bro? Bocelli Bocelli bro yeah. That song is fire That's a hype track bro Yeah I'm That's tripping. a damn son Where'd yeah. you find this <laughs> Damn son Where'd you find yeah, this Yeah that's that <laughs> Definitely for yeah. opera For yeah. opera for sure yeah, opera bro. got some bangers in there, bro. I remember Grand Theft Auto. They had like the op- opera station. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jump in a car. And like, oh. <laughs> yeah, bro. You know, that would be dope if you just you, like next Grand Theft Auto game. This We're going to put your songs <laughs> on our game. That's the yo. That's the lose goal. your mind. Yo, right now in GTA 5, they like, they if you notice, like they, they updated. updated. So yeah. that would be it. Yeah, they I'm always updated Tyler yeah. the Creator's on there. Tyler's That's on great. there. Tyler got his own station on there now. Yeah, it's, wow. it's funny hearing him. <laughs> like um, on the project we did, like we actually have Ryan in the intro and outro, really like in a weird Kid Kniff way. Like I, I don't know if you oh, know hey, this is King Kniff from Connecticut. Do it, do the, do the voice. <laughs> <laughs> do it, do it. You have to. What do you want me to say? Just be like, you're tuning. This is Hard Rock FM. You're tuning in live. We're back. You're listening to 107.4 Hard Rock FM, where the music is hard, the bands are hard, and guys, I'm also hard. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Let's get it. Applause, applause Another TikTok that. clip right there. That's a little sneak peek. Clip right That's, there. A That's a little sneak peek. Yeah, for, man. For the project. <laughs> yeah, so it's like a radio station. It's out there like that. Oh, man. Now, I think the skit game is out. Like, you don't really hear skits like that. Do that often. Like, it's like, I, 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 maybe like someone will do a skit, but it's not like funny yeah, or something. Like, you it's know, just like, big pun skits. Big pun used to do, man. Skit packing the mac in the back of the yeah. egg. Packing the mac in the back of the yeah. egg. Packing the mac in the back of the egg. Yeah, you know, uh, Evan. nah, you're right because uh, the attention span thing it's the attention span thing, true. You want to get right to the song, yeah, they don't want to wait, they don't want to wait through a three minute skit to, for the song to play, yeah, yeah true, especially true. in a music video. Mm-hmm. And yeah. even me personally, like, I know that when I want to hear a song, and let's say I, I only have YouTube available, I don't have Spotify, mm-hmm. it kind of sucks sometimes when I go to listen to a song and it's like, all right, there's a three minute intro. Before the song even plays Oh yeah Not a sex yeah. Yeah. Bad enough You already have to sit Through a commercial On YouTube Sometimes two commercials Like uh, one Two ads mm-hmm. So yeah Like the The, the skit game is, is rough Yeah It's now, definitely rough I think I think we did it Because like We were like Yo the project Is so like dark And we want Like we You want yeah, to it up We, we didn't want people To think that we're like So like depressed And so like yeah, Such like a know, dark like, band Like like cause cause the lyrics Are very making, like You know so Yeah mm-hmm. Make them laugh Before uh they listen and make them laugh at the end too. We need to make this lighthearted. You guys like this. This was planned out. Like you guys had to like sit together. Like yo, this is dark, bro. We gotta like <laughs> we gotta do a skit. Yeah, sometimes like, you gotta think about like you guys ever like sat back and actually like hear like oh shit. Yeah, it's probably this? Merkel the one is like yo guys. We gotta <laughs> we gotta no, no, it dude, up a little bit. When we first wrote our first song, we wrote was "Never Leave Again," and then like uh, that same night, like we write the lyrics. Me and AJ, while while everyone's passed out, me and this kid are still awake at like five a.m. And then, like, we had, like, the song, like, the guitar riff already, like, recorded Looping, and stuff. Yeah. So, and then we got to the lyrics, you want to die, so do I. I was, like, looking at him, I was, like, are you sure you want to write yeah. that? Like, are you sure you yeah. want to, like, add and that honestly, into the song? at that moment, like, I kind of, like, it was kind of, like, for me to just be, like, mm, I feel this. You know what I mean? Like he wanted like, it to the ass. I was, like, whatever. To me, it was it. simple. Like, to me, it was simple. It got to the point, and I felt it. You know? And I was, like, yeah, let's rock it. That's right. Like, and then he said, "Yeah." So that song, I felt like, kind of shaped us being like, we don't, we're not gonna like uh, hold our tongue or anything like that. Just and you feel at that point. I mean, you open. guys are also ready for the backlash too. Like, you know what's coming, right? Yeah, for the what? For any type of backlash. Nah, we've already had comments there, yeah. like, "What's this talk of suicide?" Oh, oh, you know, like yeah, all yeah. this, sh- you know. It's you like got dude. a lot of that. Some pe- people's been clowning me, like, "Who's this post punk Rick Ross motherfucker?" Wow, <laughs> hey, hey, motherfuckers be violating. Wow. Yo, cheers, <laughs> cheers to those guys, bro. Wow, cheers to those guys, bro. I called you Rick Ross. Nah, because you, I would take if you a compliment. Like, nah, listen, listen, yeah. listen. If I they did, keep I was commenting, walking around spitting a hello good morning verse for the whole week. <laughs> hello good morning, tell me what the degree. Pretty face, still ways with the sick weave. I guess it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, listen. Comments, good comments or bad comments, 
Doesn't matter that number is still going up. Bingo, exactly. Huh? Bingo. So I think of a comment all you want. I don't care yeah. as long as they're. And bingo. I tell them too, like I'll comment back saying, "Yo, thank you yo, for like taking the yo, time out your day to comment this guy and getting the number that. up on my comments. Thank you so <laughs> much. Like, thank you so much for taking time out your day for like I'll, like I'll be mad respectful. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> post punk, post punk Rick Ross is hilarious though. Yo, Violet. Wow, that, that should be a good like, wow. like Instagram name or something like that. <laughs> the word. Yeah, you should take advantage shit. of that. Yeah. 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 Why to make a YouTube skit like? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's hilarious, bro. For them to say that, <laughs> nah, but nah, bro. yeah, you. It's they're still interacting with your video. The numbers are still going up. You want to hate? Nah, nah, definitely. Nah, it was definitely like uh, like shits and giggles. You yeah, know? but you know, it's it's up. It's up to. Like, There's not too I, many of them. Yeah, I'm like me personally. When you said backlash, like I think like if I'm gonna be affected by it, I don't think so. Anybody like cutting ass or anything? I'm. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It's part of the game, dog. I feel, I feel you. I feel you on that one. A lot of trolls, bro. There's a lot of trolls. On Hella. I yeah. never understand how can someone have the time just to be negative. Yeah. There's a whole South Park episode explaining why trolls exist, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah like, like how do you like, take like funny. how you take time out your day? Like you take time out your day to do this. Like like you like you watch the video and you took time out your day to really like put your opinion out there. I don't know what the psychology is. To like but really to, just so I can read it, be like, fuck you, you suck. It's like thank you, like. For writing that, like I guess, like like like, are you sleeping better tonight? Exactly. Like, are you are you gonna sleep like a baby now because you wrote that? Like, I don't understand what's the point of that. But people out there, like, they really like like doing that stuff. They love it, bro. Yeah. They love it. But and it I feel like it's the kid that was bullied in high school and whatnot. Well, now they kid, have power. Well, these kids are sitting in their basement. I don't know all yeah. day. You know, it's like they don't really. I, I'm not sure who'd like. I'm not sure the like yeah. maybe Karens out there. You know, stuff like that. Like yeah. they be doing that kind of stuff. Like I, I don't know, man. I would say people who hate are the people who don't know how to go and get it. They don't. They see you achieving. They see you doing yeah. something that they can't achieve. Yeah. So the only way they can filter their feelings is try to put you down to straight up space, and that's never on it. Be yeah, beautiful on it. On it. That's the facts because who, who? What are they doing? Yeah, it just it just kind of. What just you got shows. going on? At, at yeah. the end of the day, if somebody's like judging something like somebody off just to like, like I, I think it would just become a thing of like somebody not really, what's the word? Like not really being uh, accepting or open minded enough to really just hearing something out, you know? And then that's why they'll start hating right then and there because they're just like I. This ain't really my vibe or something, but they're not even opening their mind to it. You know, facts. I'll say the world's more open minded than it, than it is now than it was, they say, 20, 10, 10 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. No I think so. 100%, bro. Even, even, I'm going to even put myself in that shoe because I didn't give rock and roll a chance until Linkin Park showed up. Oh, yes. That was like the bridge for me. Like, cause not even because oh. I didn't like rock. I was scared of what my friends were gonna think if I played it in front of them. Mm -hmm. You know, Patterson is a, a urban city. But everyone bro. loves Lincoln Park. That's the thing about Lincoln Park. Yo, yeah, but you know th that was the perfect gateway. Like they, they, yeah, they, 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 they built a bridge. Mm -hmm. They put together. Two they built perfectly. a bridge, bro. Because okay. I wasn't ashamed to listen to it in front of my friends, no. and then I found out they were listening to it. Yeah, everyone was. I was like, Park. yo, everyone's this, is, this is getting yeah. lit right now. Like everybody's listening to Lincoln Park. Everyone Everybody. their mother knows Lincoln Park. Yeah, Everybody, so. and then that's that was it. Like. Like the next year, I think half of my friends that were dressed in hood, listening to Dipset, like they came to school the next year with black eyeliner and like uh, all black clothes and, and like Hot hair. Topic. They just finished shopping at Hot Topic. <laughs> and I was like, it was a whole change up, like a whole switch up. Like, I think, I think for me, like first time here in rock and roll was just through movies. Facts. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. I think one of my first like favorite songs that would always, I would always like, uh, like I, I love Austin Powers, like the movies growing <laughs> yeah, up. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, you remember uh, American Woman mm -hmm. by the Who? You know, and that like, video it hit hard too because yeah. it had the girl in the in the uh, she was in a Volkswagen. Yeah, yeah. That by Aerosmith? Like, just, huh? That by Aerosmith? That's, nah, that's the Guess the, Who. Guess Who? Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. That's their their one hit wonder. That's their only hit, I think. Oh, and then Lenny Kravitz hit. A, Lenny the, Kravitz. I've been living a lie this whole time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hate the Aerosmith. See, the times change. Everything is repeated. That's the thing. Like yeah. every. Each year, there's always the same oh, thing right. with, Shane, with in mm -hmm. different genres, Stop. you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, look at it now. There's people sampling, like, techno and, like, rock for drill. Drake's Jersey. whole new album is all uh, <laughs> house house music. House and Jersey Club. Exactly. Music. Yeah. At one point, he was taking, sh uh, like, like uh, sh uh, Afro beats Sade, and know, everything. You know, Sade songs. Yeah. And, like, Sade, really just, yeah. Just taking those the instrumentals Leo. and rapping over them. Yeah. yeah, it's like it's crazy when you think about like how music has changed over time. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, 
What would be a good example? Yeah. Like, I'm going to give you an example. Like, you know that song, Blue? The one that said, I'm blue. Da, da, da. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I'm sitting here in, like, more techno versions or people making their own. Uh-huh. They got a whole new version. David Guetta, I think. Yeah. 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 This yeah. Is, and With there's BD a Rex. drill version. <laughs> I and just heard drill version. Of course. <laughs> Look, the New York drill scene. If they do something with that, I'm blue, and they start doing the dancing. <laughs> hey, oh, don't, don't yeah. sleep on it. Don't sleep I, on it. I will, yeah. I, will, I will be like, wow. Don't sleep on it. It'll happen. <laughs> I, I'm more surprised about how much music hasn't changed. As in, rock went through its little emo phase, then rap went through it. Yeah, like rock goes through like its glam era where everything is kind of uh, androgynous. Mm-hmm. Hip hop went through that. Like I, I see the patterns in like both genres, and I see the repeating of history and time, and I'm like, that's wild. Yeah, and like we're going, we're just going in like a cycle. Yeah, it's yeah, always going to be a cycle. It's always, like we don't see it. The only thing is, the only way we can witness it if we live through those timelines. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, you got to be alive for it for sure because you won't be able to notice it unless you grew up through it. Because you guys, you see like patterns in like Tentacion and then like not and Kurt Cobain. I'm, you know, to put them in the same sentence sounds crazy, but to really look at the 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 type of music they made, the impact they the made, impact on on yeah. that age group, on that age group, yeah. facts. That's what I'm saying. Like hundred percent. No, it's right it's there the, the 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 they were they were both only around for like three or four years, mm-hmm. like in the in the scene, yeah. and look at the impact they made. That's Big the one. thing. Like I said earlier, life is like this. It goes like that. If you can make a spark and you can grab grab life by by its throat and make it your own, oh, yeah. that's that's the thing about it. that's the thing about music. When I when when you hear it, you gotta feel it and you gotta. Make this sure guy's getting spiritual right. over here. Yeah, no, Look, I see I'm, your aura I'm right deep. now, Sean. <laughs> nah, nah, I feel that though. I dig it. The I aura dig is it. like uh, I see green. A little Dragon Ball Z green. over there, especially you know, like <laughs> for example, if you're working out, you got to just get that song that just gets you in the zone. Oh yeah, exactly. You know? yeah, man. yeah, facts. Do you guys want dark grunge to pick up and be like? Yeah, like I'm trying. I'm trying like, of people doing it. I'm trying to start a Wikipedia page for it. <laughs> As you should, man. Ain't nobody you get the SEO. Hey. So <laughs> would y'all would y'all be happy if everyone's doing it? Like you guys become the new drill. Be the uh, influencer. I would be love that. Yeah. The fact that people are trying to, you know, like revamp, revamp what they feel, but at the same time trying to give their own spice to it. Yeah. I want to see people try to like sound like us. It, 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 I think well, it's like, what happen. it sound like. I don't know. Like we sound like. I don't even know our sound like that's why it's dark. Group. You'll know it when someone else really doing it. So like, maybe someone else trying it. I'll hear it from like a different perspective. And when I'll be some, like, then you're gonna be like, to "Here we it. go again." It's gonna happen for real this time. Like, damn, somebody else copied us, bro. Yeah, you'll know it because I don't even think they knew what grunge was, bro, until like everyone started doing it. Yeah, because it's that whole Seattle area. Like everyone just started making that kind of music. They all said, "Forget about um, glam rock, like or uh, whatever hair metal." Yeah, we're all gonna do grunge now. Everybody went down there, and like people were like, Kurt hated it. Like, right? I, I think I remember hearing that he hated that everybody copied that sound. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I can imagine, like, damn, this is gonna get frustrating if everyone's doing this now. And it's good to like introduce the world to something new yeah. because right that's now a, that's kind of how I see it. Like, yeah, we've been populated with pop songs, mm-hmm. pop songs, pop songs, pop hip hop, pop rock, and it's like you want something different. Yeah. You know, it's like when you just show something different, and you can, and you're the best in the world at what you do. That's different. <sighs> Magic. Is there an overall dream? Is there like, as a band, as a group, do you guys have like an overall goal? Like, we got to be the best in the world, or something like that, or is it just for the yeah, the biggest for the love? plan to yeah, be like I, the bigger, the as far as we can really go. Like, we're never gonna like stop trying to go farther than we can like think that we can go. You know, it's like even if we reach yeah. certain yeah. points, like how much more? Because like that's how we are now. You know, it's like yeah. like. Like, right, like everything don't seem enough that we do. Like personally, you know, like it doesn't seem like it's enough. Yeah, for me, it's like different levels, different devils. We're just like moving up. Uh, I do feel like um, the main thing for me, I just want, I think I mentioned this at Mina. I was just like, I want to go, I want to go on tour for a really long time. I just want to go. Like I want to beat the record for the longest tour. I think. Uh, I don't it. think you do. You're going to want to go home, bro. You want to go no. home. Everybody wants to go on tour until it's day now. 40. And gas will kill y'all. Gas prices will <laughs> well, kill I mean, you. And your back it, is killing you, bro, from sleeping on that bed. Yeah. <laughs> but, but everybody wants to go on tour until they go on tour. No, like I want to go home now. Nah, I feel that. But yeah. I don't know. I just feel like, you know, I, I'm ready to, you know, I'm hungry to that point, you know, and. 
And I think for me, I want to do this for the rest of my life. I don't see Amen. anything go, you know. Cheers to that. Man, as long Cheers as the spark is always there, Salute. that flame is still Salute. there. 100%. I applaud Salute. you for that. That was beautiful. Cheers, brother. Cheers. Are you guys gamers at all? Play. This guy got some dope ass like Street Fighter like uh, Nikes. I restore sneakers. I do yeah. anything. Like if you see like those Air Forces, if you want whatever a color scheme, if you want a freaking anime character, I could put it on there. Oh, that's fine. Now, um, I have like if you could do restoration, I have some like cool. old ass Funkos, like those dunks. Um, you know, well, we'll be in Brooklyn next week for on? sure. What's so going on? Fix them, bro. what's going on with it? the tongue flapping? Yeah, the tongue, flapping. tongue talking to you. The, 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 the hose is holding. The hose is holding. The hole, ooh. Like if I'm stepping, I'm everything coming in. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, no, thank you. Yeah, you know, so I need to, I need to fix, fix yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Let me know. We'll be in Brooklyn. We'll be in Brooklyn next week. We'll be at Lucky 13s. By my, by my house, by like Newkirk Avenue, there's like this dude really just like taking, he does like trash, like he collects trash and like, like let's see, he finds a mirror. He'll like break that mirror. He'll. You know, find different things, and he's doing. The Yo, I love mural. people that do that. Yeah, just the trap. That's a whole nother level, bro. Yeah, that's a whole nother level. Fucking crazy. I think it's fucking sick. That's the that's the definition of a one man's trash is another man's treasure, yeah. bro. Because he could make oh, that that type of person can make art out of anything. Od. Literally, Od. That ass. Art is like, I it it just the the universe of art is just fucking amazing when I look at it. It's it's open ended. There's no like this is the. Standard. This is the the last line for art. Well, I'm gonna tell you one thing. Nah, about but art. nah. One thing that got me tight though was that picture of that potato though that got like mad fucking. Like you know you know what I'm talking oh, about. Like you talking about? Yeah, you know, got mad like play or yeah, bro. Or some but shit? what was it like? Damn, bro. But that's that's the game though, bro. Like you think about it. Like man. like look at what Picasso was doing compared to like what um those like super perfected like don't move for thirty minutes Mona Lisa artworks. Mm -hmm. Like dude, 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 just throwing paint on the wall and making it look crazy. And <laughs> and then shit, one bro. guy was like thirteen days without blinking to get a mural done, bro. <laughs> like that's the game, man. That's the thing I hate the most is about like visual art. And sometimes. Now these days, especially on Instagram, if you get a chick with a fat ass just throwing paint on the fucking canvas, next minute she, she gets artist. like a half a million views. <laughs> That's the she game. just needs to have chop it up to the game though. Fat ass, chop it up to the game. She has a white see-through shirt, and then boom, you right because I'll, I'll be following. That. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'll you be like, you got to You can't. Yo, you got to see this. You, you got to chop it up to the game, bro. Yeah, bro. I wouldn't it's, even be mad it's at them. Hard out here. Yeah, that's fucked up. It's really hard out here. That's something I can. I you chop it up to the game, bro. Because look at look at punk rock for for instance, right? Uh, punk rock was the most like almost um, a rebellion against like arena metal or me arena music. They were like, we're just gonna use the the basic instruments, basic drum step, basic guitar. So punk rock is the most um, purest form of like art is art, regardless yeah, of how you yeah. get there. Mm -hmm. You know what 100%. I mean? Art is art. Like See, the, the regardless of how you get there. The one thing about art that I can say for both musical, visual, or any any within the spectrum of art is sometimes. The artist can be their own worst enemy. Oh yeah, I think that's ninety percent of the time, it's, bro. Yeah. It's like you 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 come up with an idea at the beginning. It's like okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna execute it. Mm -hmm. And then once you see the idea, it's like it's not coming through how you see. Uh -huh. what you guys love do. your music. Yeah. You guys, and other people hear it's like I love this. This is beautiful, mm -hmm. but you don't see it. You don't. Yeah, feel yeah. It. How do you guys feel about that? Like you guys love your music. You listen back to it. Do you do you feel like it blows uh, my mind? Yeah, yeah. No, definitely. Like like. Um, with me, like I, I, I've been, I've been re recording music for like really like since I was like young, you know. So I always w had this standard, you know. So like at one point, it's like when I do record something raw, in my mind, I'm already hearing where it's gonna be, you know. When we start mixing and mastering and stuff like that, so when I first heard our songs, you know, it was kind of like that where it was raw. But to me, it was like I was already hearing the final product. I was like, yo, it's fucking hard. <laughs> That's always so, the thing. When you just start so, and you don't hear the final product, it's like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, nah, but like I'll tell you right now, a lot of that, like a lot of that, um, sometimes like that, it's, 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 it's a perfectionist mindset, I'd say. Yeah. Exactly. You know, it's like you're like, yo, nah, this shit is missing something or nah. But you, like you said, you show it to somebody else and they're like, Oh, it's like this is and, a, it's a masterpiece. Yeah, right? and I go off that a lot. And then there's a lot of ears I have in my life that like I go off. You know, like I, 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 people I'm you not, trust their opinion. Yeah, you know, like Jose. who's the harshest in the group? Like, like, nah, we got to do that over. I think all of us, man. 
Yeah. Yeah. We what keep it think? real. Me and Jared. Me and yeah. Kilgrave. Yeah. I think yeah. are the ones that I like really. Like we gotta do this over, guys. This is and okay, our yeah, and our yeah. producer. Yeah. yeah. Jose, yeah. Jose, Jared, and Ryan mostly like, you know, because the instrument instrumentation wise, like, you know, they're all focusing on that and yeah. and then like lyrics, like, you know, it's more like I just gotta make sure I sound good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nah, but like this time's where, you know, they, they really tell it like it is for me, like, nah, that's not it. Gotta re record it. He but it's does. very rare it's like that though, I'll tell you. It's very yeah. rare where it's like mm -hmm. we're like nah that's a little whack it's, it's like rare usually it's like the first thing comes up with is what you hear right now like it's what, what you listen to like, yeah that's like like the 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 way the flow of the songs like with him singing is like first or second like yeah. i really can't believe how far you guys come in one year bro and the fact that Thanks, bro. you you're can one of the few the bands that have blown me away within the like past 10 years that I've heard like locally. And I'm not even gassing you guys. That hits, bro. That hits. I won't even gas hunger. you guys. That's Super. hunger right there. I, yo, I go Thanks, I go bro. to a lot of venues, bro. I see a lot of bands and I see a lot of um I see a lot of imitation of what was already great. I don't see a lot of like thinking like what comes next now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, nah, like I'm never gonna like I'll never say that anything that like in the past is not something we don't like or something. Like, you know, like like hair metal, you mentioned that like I love Motley Crue, but I'm not going to go there trying to sing like this guy. You know what I mean? Like, I can't, like, I'm not, I can't mimic these things. Like, it's about adding your own spice, you know? Like Bingo, bro. It like makes a good vibe. A yeah. wedding singer vibe. Mm -hmm. exactly. Yeah, bro. We got our own style, our own, like, original, like, uh, style. You know? Exactly, That's bro. Is, like. And even the look of you guys. Like, look at the two of you sitting on this couch next to each other. This isn't even, like, a normal thing, bro. <laughs> this yo, we're like, a yo, we're, like, the, the great thing about us is, like, we're all, like, it's never, like, focused on maybe, like, just AJ or, like, just me or, like, like we're all different characters. The, the, the as whole, a whole, like, we're all so whole, different. Bro. The way we dress, everything, we're all so different from each other. That's so what I'm it's saying. Like, when we're all together, it's, like, we're all our own personality. Yeah. And, we're like, on stage, we all have our own personality. Yeah. You know, like, we're that's all That's what blew me away that night, bro. That's yeah. the thing. The personalities is always a great trait to have, especially mm -hmm. if you're on stage. Yeah, like, person got, people I, don't focus on which yeah. one's who. I, and, I don't, like, me as, like, the lead singer, like, I don't have to worry about that with them. Like, I know, I'm, like I'm in the front, but like I look at, but I know like, they're, like, like they're he, singing the songs with me. Like they're he could lack out for a second with like stage presence, but he knows that me and Kilgrave are on the yeah, side, to both sides of know. him, like like doing our thing. Like yeah, hundred percent. You know, doing so the best we can to like yeah. get this crowd going mm -hmm. together as a team. You know, it's not true. just one person yeah. trying, just him. You know, it's like we're all it's a team trying to be as wild as we possibly can. I'm always thinking of new things like I could one up myself to do on stage. You know, like. <laughs> Break yeah, guitars, like ten years. Like yeah. the drums on fire. I don't know, bro. I've been thinking some wild stuff. The bigger the stage gets, this guy might be hanging off the Titan Tron or some shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Let's not do. It. Let's not say solo. that. <laughs> <laughs> off Suicide solo. in front of all my fans. Hang, it. You got hang upside down doing a solo. <laughs> That's Jared. <laughs> That's right. Oh, for real, guy. You guys are, are are definitely an anomaly, bro. <laughs> Thanks, the bro. collective of all you guys together. Thank I wish he met Mer uh, Merkel, bro. Like. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, curious about this. How long you guys been doing music like individually? Like when, when like what age did you guys since started? I was like born basically? Yeah. Damn, wow. yeah, I started. I st with me music. It was, like I, it started like uh, you know I was going to a mosque. Mm -hmm. So when I'd be in mosque, like you know, there's opening prayer for like when you pray. So when I would hear that, I'd be like, "Whoa, that's powerful." And then I would mimic that. And then there were times where I would actually go to the head of like the, the mosque and sing at like six seven like trying to mimic the guy that i just heard and with the opening prayer so your culture helped influence you with your sound yeah just just like i felt like i was unaware of what was really happening when we, we were praying like i think the only thing that hit me was the melodic sounds even if it's we're just saying something out the scriptures or something it's like you're saying it in, in a melodic way yeah and to me i think that stuck out to me so that was a part of it and then my uncle was like culturally making music. He played the baja, like it's Ooh. like a piano slash like an accordion. Yeah, like and then so I would try to mimic him and shit. And that's then what's up. That's what's up. you then got her dope, bro. Yeah, man. And then, you guys are dope. You see, it's like Thanks, it's, I'm gonna take you to their live show, bro. It's, it's I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come. Hearing them on YouTube is great, and then Spotify, but bro, that that feel of like the live show, man. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, live shows drinks, are always man. better than. And, and when you actually the, just depends. see on No, 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 no. No, it depends. It depends. Like, it depends. Like, you know. Some bands know ain't guys, good live, if bro. If I know you guys are good on YouTube uh -huh. and whatever you, whatever a video you post out, mm -hmm. 
I know for sure that once I go to the show exactly, mm-hmm. I know I'm gonna I'm gonna get my money's worth. Oh, and we add things live too, like guitar wise, bass wise. Like there's things that are added live yeah. that you don't hear on the record too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like we add a spice to it live too. So it's like you're hearing something different from what you're hearing in your headphones yeah, too. Either way. <laughs> yeah, cowbell. Yeah. These will cowbell, you heard. And the last thing I want to talk to you guys about is where you guys think rock is at right now, bro? Because there's not a lot of rock stations left. There's not a lot of outlets left. Shout for out rock the and roll. ones that. Hey, are. listen, history repeats itself, right? Yeah. So it's going to come back around and we're going to be there for that. Amen, bro. Yeah. Amen. I'll tell you right now, we're going to be there for that. And Amen we're going to be the band that. that fucking takes it up there. Okay. I want to hit a gong like, like in like the no, we gotta get a gong. Yeah, we, we gotta need get a mini that, gong. bro. <laughs> when some real shit is said, just Yo, that'd be bro. like like Funk Master Flex with his experience. Yeah, <laughs> we just need Stop a physical a one, like a big one, not a sound for it, like an actual. And one. you need a person for it. Yeah, like just stands s- there the whole show, just sitting there waiting to hit it. Because that was a bong moment. That was there. Yeah. Amen to that, bro. Yeah, man. Nah, Amen to that. Everything comes back around. That's a fact, bro. I That's think, a fact. I think right now, as far as rock, um, your visuals, like people are going to listen to your music, but moving forward, really try to. Get that entertain shock value. Entertain you gotta entertain. You gotta entertain. Value. You can't just be a. So, you can't just have good music. You gotta. So just, you gotta entertain too. Right. I, I think it's a lot of it. A lot is more of entertainment too. It's like I hear good bands all the time. Like when I like when we play live too, we hear good bands all the time. But you know, like, are you entertaining though? Like, there's a lot of bands that are. There's a lot of bands that aren't. You know, it's like you gotta entertain too while you're at it like you can't just like play your song it's a performance yeah, it's yeah. a performance it's yeah, a live me, show like, it's like you go see Miley Crew, you go see Rob Zombie you go see all these bands they're putting a lot of the money that you pay for these tickets they're putting a lot of it into their show production Bingo. so it's gonna be yeah. a great show for you to watch oh, yeah. exactly. you know what I'm saying so it's like it's the same thing like you gotta like give off like as as much as you can give them like the best entertainment they could possibly watch while being good live there you go it's not man, easy exactly. but it's like dude like you gotta do it you know like or else you're never gonna make the cut and you're gonna and be playing bars your whole yeah, life. So that's like the sad truth. That's Honestly, the it's a one. sad truth. If you're not worth the time, you could be amazing. But if you're not worth the time live, you're not worth the that's entertainment true. wise. You're just gonna be. And that's the only way you're playing bars relevant. your whole life. Yeah, like I feel like that's the only way. Like the way rock is set. Like you have to just stay hungry and want to cater to everyone that's loving you. Exactly. Amen, bro. And you can touch a culture from ten years from now. Like your music now uh-huh. could be played in 10, 20 years when we all old and gray. I hope so. It, it hits somebody, you know. Yeah. Like I'll see, for example, like Living Color, right? Uh huh. Yeah. Cult of personality. I didn't hear that till I was. Trichet. You see, like twenty. Even, that song came out when I was one years old. I didn't, I didn't hear it till I was twenty. I didn't even. I'll be real with you. I didn't know about that song until you know wrestling. Yeah. When I watched with uh, that guy CM Punk, he oh, had yeah. that song, and yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. oh wow, I like this song. Mm-hmm. And more I listen to it, it's like, yeah, wow. not even even recently with uh, Nirvana and. Um, Batman movie. Something in the way. Facts. Yeah. How many people got put onto that song for the first time? The first time then. Who like, is that? Nickelback? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's Spider Man. Did you say Nippleback? <laughs> Nippleback. Nippleback. Ryan AJ. Yo, thanks for coming out here, bro. Yo, these these men drove out here from man. Brooklyn. Yo, thanks for what having us. Shout out. You guys were I, awesome. Yo, for real, dude, I haven't really fucked with a band in a long time. I haven't been into a band in a long time, bro. Uh, you guys just set it off. I go to every live show with Will. I'm there for Will, bro. But for the first time, shout out Will, man. For the first time, bro, that, bro. That, you guys were a band that I was like there for you guys. Like that was awesome. So thank you for coming, man. Thank you for making the time for this. Yeah, Anytime, yeah, we'll always come back. So. Yeah, Anytime, this is man. dope. And we're gonna try to make it out next week to uh, Lucky Thirteen. Yeah, Lucky Thirteen yo, show, man. Pull up. Yeah. It's a costume though. You have to wear because we're gonna be I got dressed sign. up. I got yeah. sign. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna be Snorlax. You gonna be? Damn, I was yo. We I was thinking about doing that on stage. All right, you got it. I'll let you take. It. He's gonna be the crow. I think uh, that's fitting. Yeah, <laughs> pull it off, right? yeah, yeah, I saw on Amazon they got Obi Wan Kenobi costume for uh, like sixty dollars. Shit, yo, yo, Kilgrave would love if I dressed up. As he had Obi-Wan the Star Wars magic because before. he would do the yeah. Star Wars shit too. Actually, get ready for the crow because people are gonna mistake you for Sting from wrestling. Oh, that ass, yo! All you're missing is a bat. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. just put the white face. The black bat. Yeah, nah. Yeah, yeah, you got to come down from the rafters when you perform. <laughs> yeah, bro. But yo, Give thank you for ideas. coming, guys. This has been awesome. This has been dope. Thank you, Moff. It's live from Bravery Studios. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell. Thumbs up. And make sure you uh, check these guys out, bro. Tomorrow never promise, man. TMP to the world. Cheers bro. to that. Cheers to that, bro. And we out of here. Keep on keeping on, Bravehearts. Peace. Thank you.